Recent rash of shootings and murders here in Cincinnati have many on edge and families now looking for answers. Overall violent crime is still the lowest in years, but police and city leaders sent a message today. Angela Ingram joins us now with a strategy to stem the violent crime spike. Angela. Well, Cammy, these are the faces of just a handful of the people who have been gunned down on our streets in recent weeks. There have been 176 shooting victims so far this year. 32 of them have died. CPD has a plan in place to deal with the spike in shootings and officers are asking asking the community to help. Last year, Cincinnati had the fewest number of shooting victims than the city's had in the last decade. But for every family that's lost a loved one to gun violence, those numbers don't take away their pain. Cameron was a good kid. He made some bad choices. But it doesn't mean that he should have been murdered for it. The family of Cameron Franklin came to hear how CPD plans to handle a spike in shootings and murders. Cameron and Anthony Hinton were both only 14 years old, both gunned down in the past few weeks. The loss of any life is a tragedy. To help stop the uptick, CPD will put more officers on the streets. We're reducing some support units such as the telephone crime reporting unit to ad add additional personnel to our patrol force. We've begun a reduction of some of our supervisory ranks, the sergeant and lieutenant's ranks. ShotSpotter is being installed in Price Hill. It's already proved successful in Avondale. The technology alerts police to gunfire regardless of whether someone calls 911. I ask every citizen, if you see something, say something. Sir, stop right there. Let me see your hands. 42 recruits will graduate in two weeks, increasing police numbers. The department is also reminding people about its cadet and explorer programs. Both give kids mentors and focus. This is a collective effort on all of our parts to keep our community safe. CPD is working to get those numbers back down. The families are hoping no one else has to experience their pain. These other kids, these other two kids right before him, one of them was a week before Cameron was killed, right on the same corner where Cameron was killed. All these kids matter, all of them, every single one of them. I don't okay. care where you come from. CPD is also encouraging people to mentor youth who may need role models, and the department is emphasizing that the city does have a curfew to help keep kids off the streets. Cammie, back to you. All right, Angela, thank you. And some of the recent murders are still unsolved. Overall, CPD closes roughly 60% of its homicide cases, and that's higher than the national average.